Hello everyone, it's me, Slumfer, and today we're going to be playing one of our first viewer recommended games. This was recommended by Fire Dragon, a commenter who comments on a good, good few bit of my videos. So, he recommended we play this game and try it out, so this is a horror puzzle game called Blameless, so we're just going to get right into things, as always. I'm an architect, freelance, so I take job offers as they arise. So when this guy called me, I was relieved I could finally get a paying job. He said he needed help with interior design for his house that he was building. I always respected people who could do construction, so I naturally agreed to come and take a look. I already had a couple of ideas. It was already quite late, but he insisted on me coming over the same day. I tried to comply because I didn't want to lose this offer. I drove there with my car. His house was all the way over in the suburban area, quite remote, but with other houses nearby, quiet place. The man met me at the front gate. It was a temporary fence, and the gate was made of rotting wooden planks. He started showing me around the yard. It seemed weird that there was a large garbage container blocking the way, so we had to go through the garage to get inside the house. He took me through the rooms, so I started looking around. At one point, I saw a stain, and at first glance it seemed like brick dust. But then I realized it was blood, spilled on the floor. I thought that maybe there was another worker who got injured, so I turned to tell the man. That's when I saw his hand raised to hit me. He was holding a metal rod. Before I could defend myself, he hit me in the head. I must have passed out. I don't know how long I was out. <sighs> When I woke up. Well, that escalated quickly. Hmm. All right. Right into the thick of it, I suppose. Uh, that hurt. I bet you got hit in the head with a fucking crowbar. Or rebar. Crow rebar. This blood stain does not look like it's the result of a banal injury. Yeah. The phone is smashed. No way it's gonna work anytime soon. I'm so glad I have a no a Nokia. This looks like something was being dragged across the bloodstain. Indeed. Indeed it do, me boy. Indeed it, it seems do. seems fresh. The blood hasn't completely dried out yet. Yep. Guess I'm gonna peek around. Finger around the place, see what uh, trouble I can get up to. Found, <laughs> have found hammer, yes. Me smash. I can't get further through here. There's no door. Why would he hit me and then lock me in here? Good question. M me pick back up hammer. I want to assume there's something I should smash. Like say a loose brick or something, or some some uh, some uh, dingaling's head. Just smash the window. But where's the alternative ending where I just smash the window and get the fuck out? Uh, 
this may take me a long moment. I want to say that I am very bad at puzzles. Let a, I'm, I'm not amazing at puzzle games. Aha, uh -huh, me have saw now. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, this might take me a while. Okay, I have a vice here. I suppose I could stick something in, I don't know. Stick the hammer in the vise? I got no clue. Not one clue at all. Wow. Well, I found the metal rod. Okay, I can put the metal rod there. Maybe I can saw some stuff. I feel like maybe following this extension cord would be a good idea, but I don't know. Ah, pipe. some old light. Maybe I do something with the pipe, not the pole. I don't know if the pipe would fit there. Maybe. I should bend the rod. I should bend the rod, but it's too tough to do by hand. Okay, well never mind. He's told me what to do now. So obviously I should pick up the hammer. It's it's clobbering time. How do I? Not supposed to bend it with the uh nope, doesn't give me so I guess I gotta use the rod and the thing. I should bend the rod. I should bend the rod, but it's too tough to do by hand. Twice hit it with the fucking hammer, but you won't hit it with the hammer. I don't know, maybe hit it with the other pipe. Is that what you want me to do? Just unga bunga it? Yep. No way better than the unga bunga way. Even though I didn't really unga bunga it, I kind of just did it weird. I could have just used the hammer, right? Okay, now what am I supposed to do with this? Find where the where the ceiling pulls down. Okay, so we're not using this as a crowbar. So then what are we doing with it? Ah, I see now. There's a thing. Ah, I'm stuck. Alright, now. We don't want anything, so now we're gonna get a trusty heavy l copper pipe. We're gonna head up. Shit, it's dark. Sure is. 
But don't worry, that's why we got a trusty, heavy copper pipe. What the hell was that? There we go. Well, no, wasn't the point of the hammer on the other thing. I'm just gonna drop that for Ah. A wallet. What's his credit card information? A library card belonging to Helen Woodward. How'd it get here? How am I supposed to fucking know? Why did you use the library card to identify them? Nut. New pipe friend. Ah, yes. Very heavy. Quite large. Bolt cutters. Perfect. My favorite. It's holding with the wires. Ah, so that's why I need this. The wire cutters are broken. The hinge on that handle should attach, but it's missing. So obviously I fixed the, the wire cutters with this. The, ha the handle is not in place. The handle is not in place. Then put the fucking handle in place. I didn't want to do that, and you know for a fact the I did handle not. Is, the handle is not in place. How's... Okay, now the handle's in place. So now put the thing in the thing. There, thank you very much, Jesus Christ. It's holding with the wires. D How am I supposed to know there's more than one wire? Now we're just going to, uh, where is it, uh, you know, make our way in there. Whoa. Shit. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. <laughs> uh, are you telling me I can't go through there? Because someone turned off a light. Can you turn the lights back on then? Politely. Still can't see, you won't give me a flashlight or anything. Sesame. Oh. Just wouldn't let me in because I was holding my pipe. Well, oh, fuck. Now my trusty pipe's gone. I, gotta, I must fetch another weapon. I heard my pipe moving. Oh, I know. It was this pipe. Other pipe. Well, it's no bigger boot, but it'll work. Ah. 
What happened? I wasn't paying attention. I just heard a sound cue and then... Yeah. No way going back through here. Oh, yeah, that's I what I want to go back. The door closed. I just now realized that. I don't like the look of that dark corridor. Let's see if the light switch is working. Better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The light switch worked. I don't like these. These ambient stings. Finally, a light. Why? Why am I holding it like that? What the hell? Oh no, she's dead. She, she's, she's dead. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, dust. Similar to yes. what I found upstairs on the floor. Dust. Who those things, lady? It's the address of this house. Was she invited here too? Oh. Dragging stain again. Oh. That's what that was. Nope, it just locks me in there for no reason. I have eyes that can see. Ah yes, my Nokia phone. Open! Open! Alright, so obviously that isn't the solution of any kind. These doors have doorknobs, so no, I can't open them. So there must be some other kind of solution to my... Well, actually... I don't know, maybe just to open the door, only door with the doorknob on it. Finally, out of the house. Alright, so that, now obviously I can run into the hills and... Uh, obviously I can just get the fuck out of here, right? Nope, I'm stopped by bushes. I can't just leave while I'm being pursued. Or, well, would I call it pursued or would I call it more like saw trapped? More dark rooms. Yep. More dark rooms. Why is everything always locked? Uh -huh. I, I I didn't even think that would work. Anything you use? What's this? Ah, I believe this thing can open fuse boxes. Ah, so now I go back. Or maybe 
maybe I just go right over here. I don't know. No, I, I think I go back. La di da, running. Oh ho ho. Yes, very much. Running very far. Yeah. I understand basic puzzles, I think. These are already on. These are already on. These are already on. These are these these, these are already on. Okay. These are already on. Then why am I here? Why why did I take the time to come back here and open this up? If they are all already on. RCD two forty. Test monthly. This switch looks important. RCD two four. These are already on. These are all. These are all. These are all. These are all. These 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 are already on. Okay. RCD two forty. Test monthly. This switch looks RCD two forty. Test monthly. Oh wait. This switch looks important. Fuse box opener is locked in the old house in my double. Oh well. Would have been helpful to notice that that was hanging there before. Okay, so what, what am I doing then? I got the fuse box open. Oh, what now? Oh, wait. Honey, if the circuit trips again, first turn on the RCD switch. And then the rest of them, the orange one last. Make sure you first hear a click after you turn the, the, the take a few seconds. Honey, if the circuit okay. trips again, first turn on the RCD switch, the smallest one, and then the rest of them, the orange one last. Make sure you first hear a click after you turn the RCD on. It may take a couple of seconds, otherwise it will trip again. I need to take a look at this before we hand the keys over to the new owner. Okay, then. I don't know why I bothered reading that, then. It's you never know what's going to be narrated or not. Can I... Can I go? Okay. RCD 240. Test monthly. This switch looks important. Okay, was there any... Honey, if the circ All right then. Why why am I here though? I guess in case the power turns off or something. I got no clue. I suppose it's a we come back to that later sort of thing. Locked. Boards, small ladder. Broken. Oh, wow. I would have never noticed. 13 July 2001. Subject. Final reminder letter. Dear Mr. Hopkin, This is to inform you that, according to our records, as of 12 July 2001, we still haven't received back the scaffolding, or the three suspension ladders you borrowed from the Deirdre Construction Stores on 7 June of this year. Please Damn. return the scaffolding within 14 days My man don't even upon return receiving no scaffolding. this letter. Should you choose to ignore this appeal, we will be passing this matter to a collection company, which will be obliged to forcibly remove the scaffolding from your possession. To cover any fees or penalties, 
incurred by such action will be your sole responsibility. Note, you will not receive any more reminder letters from us. Yours sincerely, Anna Catwell, Account Manager, Dare Drew Constructions Limited. Well then. Guess I gotta find a way to fix the ladder, I suppose. Fucking superpowers, I guess. I was trying to open this up, but it doesn't look like something I can open. I don't I don't I don't know how to feel about like the suspense going on in this game. Mainly cuz I have so many I've been playing so many horror games where it's like suspenseful and then I just turn around and there's just like a guy or a thing peeking around the corner door and I'm just constantly expecting to turn around and just see someone standing there. But no, it's not. It's just constant swelling stings and then nothing. I don't like it. Like that. Constant swelling stings like that. Can't even pick. Fucking damn, man. I can't even pick up no crowbar. Alright. Okay, well I can take those back. That's helpful. Maybe I can go open up that uh, one door that was locked. wasn't the store, it was uh, another one. Yep. Seems like it. I don't like this that. This is the way out. But this is the way out, apparently. Although I feel like when I try and open this up, something bad's gonna happen, or not go right. Yeah, something like Jesus. something like that. This place is scary. Shit, no power. The electric must have tripped for the whole garage. So now I have to go back to the the one room and uh, start it all over again, like it like it told me how to. So I gotta turn this on. Ah! Ow! Ah. Mm. I'm dying. Oh. Okay, so I may have gotten that wrong. Maybe just a teensy, weensy little bit. Seen that coming. Oh, I know. Everything's on. I just shocked myself doing so. Back to the garage so I can get the heck out of here. Oh, I don't have my uh, flashlight anymore. Also, it's still off. So apparently I didn't fix everything. I'm not touching this anymore. These are already on. Okay, then well, everything's on then. I don't know what to do then. I lost my flashlight unless it's sitting back on the floor over here. No, I don't want the fucking Nokia phone. Nope, my my flashlight is just fucking gone. Reduced to atoms. 
excluded from the universe. Oh, Jesus. It's the man. Get away from me. Yeah, get away from me. Ah. Ooh, ee, oh. There he is. This is Lightwater Police. Stay where you are. You're under arrest. Why am I under arrest? Get down on your knees. But I didn't do anything. Get on your knees now. You are under arrest. Damn, I guess I'm under arrest. This is what happened. He was chasing me with a rod in his hand. He must have hidden when he saw the police cars pulling up to the gate. Mr. Malcolm, we searched the yard thoroughly and didn't find any evidence suggesting there was another man. No, 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 he was there. He was the owner who called me. The former owners sold the house due to personal financial problems two weeks ago. They moved to a different town on the other side of the country. The private company who owns it now proved all their employees were off-site, having a team building activity that night. How could you not find evidence of him? I'm telling you, he was there. I heard you. Our officers got a phone call from one of the neighbors reporting lights coming on in the house and suspicious person moving on site. They gave us your description. They never saw another man. How could that be? This doesn't make any sense. Let's I... cut the crap. What? It does make pretty clear sense to me. I have to say that I honestly don't believe any part of your bullshit story that you're giving me here. Everything suggests that you murdered that woman. No, I... You found the victim's blood on your clothes and your hands. You had the victim's wallet in your pocket. Wait. And the officers caught you fleeing the crime scene. You. No one else. Guess whose fingerprints match the ones we found on the victim's body, huh? you murdered that woman but I'll guarantee you're never getting out I was framed I tell you you're going down mr. blameless ah, he, said, he said the thing he said the thing on the title of the game I'm sorry I'm sorry for doing that I probably hurt someone's ears well guys it seems that was it. That was blameless. Overall, not that bad. I mean, it constantly had me worrying about if someone was going to show up. Which is definitely a different change of pace from the uh, very jump scare centric games I'm normally playing. So definitely a good change of space. Space. Pace. So... Thank you, Fire Dragon, for recommending the game. And if anyone else wants to recommend any more games for me to play on the channel, feel free to ask. That's Anyways, how it all began for me. And it was far from over. So anyways, as always, I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you next time. And if you will, just subscribe. That's all I ask. Have a good day.